Hello friends and welcome. Today we want to talk about the progress bar, the circle progress bar. So what is a progress bar? A progress bar is a control which displays the progress of an action or a process. So we have variants of progress bars and this is one of them. It's a circular progress bar or radio progress bar so in what cases or circumstances can we use a progress bar well we use it when we want to display some progress to some action or background activity the user can see the visual feedback of the progress of that activity or action so you simply drag and drop the progress bar onto the wind form and right out of the box we have several customizations the progress bar can be animated and you can also toggle the animation speed. So let's start by giving our progress bar a value, let's say 75%. Now we can see the progress color. By default the progress allows us to have a gradient style. We can shift from gradient to solid or solid transition. We'll see this in action in a minute. So let's make the progress animated because by default it's not animated to see how it will look like. As you can see, the progress will show a value right around the progress itself transitioning in an animation style. And in this state, the progress will increase as the value is taken from the activity itself for example from an action or a task and then we retain the completion percentage of the task and apply it as a value to the progress we can see while the animation is also underway so if the animation is toggled off it will be a still value without any animation but if toggled on now we can see the animation and the progress speed by default is set to 0.6 but we can change this let's put one and the progress increases the animation so the higher the animation speed the higher the visual effect of the animation if you set this to 5 you can see the animation if you set this to 0 now the animation is still by default it's a 0.6 and I've set it to 0.5. You can also change the direction of the animation. Backwards is the default, but you can also change to true. Backward is the default, set to false, which means it animates forward, sorry. And then if true goes to true, then the animation will be backward. So the default animation direction is forward by toggling the backward property to false that is the default value and it can be changed to true we can also change the fill color so let's stop the animation and you can see the fill color is the color that is at the back of the progress indicator so we can set this to any color let's say we want to set this to light gray, smoke white, or any other color. Let's enable the animation. We can also change the granted mode. By default is horizontal, but you can toggle it to vertical, diagonal, and so forth. But before we see the granted mode in action, let's see this thickness value by default is 23 but we can change the value let's say 5 that is the thickness and then down here we can also change the progress thickness itself so the thickness fill thickness applies to the fill color and the progress thickness applies to the progress if we set this to 5 now we can see Let's change the fill color so that you can see what we are talking about. There is the fill color in black. 
that can be changed by default is 23 so let's revert to 23 and let's change the progress thickness to 23 there you go the fill color let's change it to smoke white we can also change the first color of the progress to Funchesia, for example or to any color let's choose this variant of orange and let's choose blue there you have it we can also change the gradient type it could be a solid color it could be a solid transition or it could be a gradient so if it's a gradient you see that when the value reaches this uh, top right section the progress color to is applied while the opposite which is the bottom left the progress the first progress color is applied so progress color color number two is applied to the top right and progress color number one or the first progress color is applied to bottom left we can also change the clip end to square or round as you can see so this is the start of the progress and you can change this to triangle to any other value that you want like this the maximum value can be changed by default is 100 but it can be changed to any color any number sorry i'm thinking of colors <laughs> it's all right it can be changed for example if it's set to 1000 then seven this is 75 a fraction of 1000 but by default it's 100 let's try to change the the progress start clip to round and then let's change this to 200 this is what we're talking about you can change the maximum value you can also change the minimum value of the progress and if you want to apply some feather styling you can also show the the progress end clip and and start clip so the text mode can be switched from value to percentage so if you want to get the value you can uh, make sure that the text mode is in value or you can also change the percentage that is retained by the control when you get the value of the progress the gradient mode is horizontal let's change it to vertical now you can see that the progress number two color is applied to bottom right while the progress color is applied to top left which is the opposite of horizontal forward diagonal and also backward diagonal and we can also stop the animation as well so if you want to get the value of the progress you just target the value property which is of type integer so the name of the progress bar dot value you can get the value or you can assign a value when you type the name of the control and then type dot you see events and properties for example the value changed is an event the vertical scroll is an event the visible changed is an event and the validated is also an event you can also validate which is a boolean type which will validate the control or refresh it the value returned is of type integer and the width is of type integer just as other types like the height as well when you hit the update or call the update it causes the control to redraw the invalidated region within its client area and the control is then refreshed and the current value is displayed so when you want to give a visual feedback of the progress of an action activity you can take advantage of this progress bar yeah. so if you have any questions please feel free to send us an email or type in the comment section 
and we'll answer them as best as possible. So go ahead and and try to use this secular progress bar and you see how it can work for you. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.